Hello, and what is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and welcome to an episode of Spin Tires that we're going to start up a new series on. And it's going to be specifically, um, well, hauling, truck hauling. And basically, we've got this uh, second-gen Dodge that we're going to be use, uh, going to be using to be uh, to pull this uh, to pull this vehicle hauler. And then on top of that, we've got Spun's uh, new '66 Chevy and CCS's Toyota Tundra. Now. The whole objective with this, the whole objective with this is to basically get these things as far as we can, and if we can get them all the way down, like, say, to, uh, our first objective will be here, right? It, our first objective will be here, uh, because there's kind of like, that's the way the road goes, but at the same time, there are a few better routes to take. I mean, I don't think we're going to be getting it up any hills, but... We'll see. We'll see how it goes, and we'll see. I mean, if we could get it to, say, for example, the other garage, that would be that would be badass. I mean, we don't have, you know, we don't necessarily have, um, I guess, the necessary necessary equipment to go rock crawling or anything like that. But at the very least, we have some very capable rigs on the back of our tow rig. So at the end of the day, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. That we can at least, you know, that we can at least make some decent progress uh, with this rig. So, first order of the day is to not fall in the ditch to the to that left side, or tip the trailer like, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, please no, oh, oh I, <laughs> wow, that is not a great way to start. Okay, I, jeez. That is not the greatest way to start this off at all. Maybe I should have put the big tires on the Dodge. Okay, well that ditch isn't too, too deep, so we can kind of go in it a little bit, but... Ooh! Well, we saved ourselves a little bit of trouble of, um, dying on the first... <laughs> on the first little bit of, uh, of progress, that's for sure. Oh, oh god, I didn't realize it was that bumpy. Come on! Oh, you know what it's doing? It got hung up on the trailer. Luckily, this thing has a hell of a lot of grip and decent power as well, so we can pull ourselves out of the creek, I would imagine. Come on! Oh, don't sink. Oh, don't sink. That's not, not at all what we want to be dealing with right now. Just low two. Maybe low three if we need it. Uh, no! No! No, no! I don't know how those trucks are staying on there, but I'm okay with it. As of right now, I'm okay with it. Yes! Okay, there's a winch point. Please! Oh, crap. There goes the Chevy. We've still got the Toyota. I don't know why it... I don't know why the whole, like, the whole trailer tipped off to that side before actually, you know, like, before... We actually made some progress, but I'm not going to leave the Chevy there. I'm going to get up onto the road and then uh, move the Toyota forward, and we'll gra we'll get the Chevy back and stick it on the back of the truck again. God, that's weird, though. It's weird, though, too, because the Toyota just stayed. The Toyota had no issue at all. Okay. Moving the Toyota. There's some sort of, like, extra sticky surface up here that makes it so that the trucks don't fall off as easily. And I'm not sure what it is, but I'm glad it's there. Okay. So the Toyota's good. Toyota's good. Now we can go back and get the Chevy. The Chevy's upside down, and it's in a very bad way. But luckily, we can rescue it back to the garage because we're so damn close to it anyway. And just drive back. But, but, I think we can allow ourselves one, you know, we can allow ourselves one slight issue. But after this, if we lose a truck, we lose a truck. That's just how it goes. If, if after this, if we lose a truck, then we lose a truck. So, that's how I'm going to consider it anyway. So, wait, no, that, yeah, there is a nasty bump in there. I thought there was. 
I wonder if we can get up without the loading ramps. I wonder if we're tall enough for that. No, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. Okay. Yep, we gotta... That trailer is long enough that we have to use the map for that. Alright, advanced. Start engine. I don't think we need the parking legs for now. I just need to extend those loading ramps out. Are we going the right way or no? No. Now we are. <laughs> now we are. I love having that, like, ultra zoom of Spin Tires Plus. It really helps. And tilt. That's a much better angle to load at than before anyway. Oh my god. There's so... I wish we could make the distance of, like, you know, the truck switching longer as well. So now we're back. We're back on the truck, and I feel like we should be able to make some decent progress from here. So everything's loaded up. Everything's good to go. Just need to get back in the Dodge. And then from there, go to advanced mode. Tilt the ramps back up. And then ramps back into the truck. There we go. Okay, I'm tr I'm starting to get this down. It's a little tricky, actually. It's weird. It's like, it's not what you would think would be tricky, but it kind of is. I don't know. It's weird because you got to remember exactly which way, um, exactly which way you got to go on the control stick. You can definitely tell, though, that this truck is having to pull some weight. Like, it, it's not... I mean, it's not difficult for it, but at the same time, it's not... It's not having the easiest time. Oh, are you serious? Trailer's hung up again? Oh, my God. All right. The... Winch, maybe? And I need to... I need to shut that Chevy off. It being on is bothering me. I don't know why it's bothering me, but it is. No win- well, we've got one, but I don't know if it would work. I mean... It might work for a tiny little bit of progress, but that might be about it. Eh, it's not working. And I really don't want to winch to the trailer because we all know how that goes. That ends in death and doom and all sorts of unpleasant things that none of us really want to think about. We could go that way, like, like, up over there. But I don't want to do that either because that would put us in a situation that I don't think I want to be in with this truck. And that's, you know, hill climbing and rock crawling. And that's a trail. That's not a road. That's a trail. I'm gonna try something a little iffy. I, but I really don't wanna. Aha! Yes! Oh, the stupid automatic transmission tried to shift and it bogged me down. But, hey, we made progress. We actually made it up the hill we were trying to make it up, so I'm gonna consider it a success. As long as we can. Oh! The trailer came off! What the hell? The trailer came off! Okay, reattached. That was weird. That was weird as hell. The trailer legitimately just straight up disconnected itself. You guys had to say, I, I did nothing. I did nothing related to the attachment of the trailer, and it just, it just popped off. It, it just, it just popped off. I mean, I get that we're dealing with mods, but holy crap. <laughs> really? Okay, that was my fault. I should have been a little bit more focused. Just gonna line up, because God forbid if a trailer wheel goes in the middle of this bridge. That would be horrible. Hey, I'll tell you what, though. That looks pretty damn epic right there. I'm, I'm okay with that. That looks awesome. That looks awesome. Alright, carry on. <laughs> Now, like I said, at some point, we may have to deviate from this course, and I think that, well, we could go straight, follow that pathway, 
But that's not the way... Well, yeah, we could follow that pathway. Go left, go up the hill. Go left again, go left, go right. And end up at the garage. But that looks like a really, really, really gnarly uh, path. And I'm not sure if I want to do it with a trailer this big. Not only that, but especially with the fact that I've had issues now with this trailer unhooking itself and... I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's literally, that's, that's a horrible idea. That's a horrible idea, and maybe we could do it, we could do it sometime in the future. But I kind of want to just actually make it to our initial destination. Oh, no. Well, shit. Crap, I think we're, that... That really messes with us, though. The only way we're going to be able to do this is if we go at a sharp angle. And I'm talking, like, seriously sharp. To where the trailer won't get hung up. But it may still get hung up anyway. It's already hung up. It's like, it, it's just... Oh, God. All right. This, I think, may be one of those incidents where if we lose a truck, we lose a truck because there's no, there's no other way to get to where we're trying to go. Literally, this is the only way. Just really hoping that trailer doesn't disconnect. Because if that trailer disconnects right here, we are in a whole heap of trouble. Oh, God. That's a little bit better, but it's not much. Oh, come on! Alright, disconnect the winch so we stop pulling in that direction, and then just literally just go straight. We're literally just dragging the trailer on itself. Like, we're dragging it on the ramps right now. None of the tires have any contact with the ground. And it's starting to sink the truck. Whoa. I am... Well, let's see. No, that's not where I want to go, though. Uh... Go, pull, come on. Anywhere else we can attach to? That's the tra- See, I don't want to winch the trailer, though. If I winch the trailer, there's a chance that if you- if you don't know spin tires, when you winch trailers, especially modded trailers, there's a very high chance that they may fly in the air. So, eh, That makes me not want to- not want to use the trailer winch, but... Ooh, I don't know. I'm a little confused, but that's nothing to say that we won't end up where exactly where we're trying to go with a little bit of determination. <laughs> with a little bit of determination and a little bit of power. Certain things that you may not have ever thought would be possible end up being possible, pretty possible, with a bit of determination and a bit of power. And we've fallen back right into the... Damn it. Alright. Alright. This is happening. Oh, wait. Is it happening or is it not? Because... Oh, crap. We can't reach anything on that side of the creek. Oh, that's... That sucks. Wait a minute. Will those push us forward? Oh, they will. It literally pushed the truck up the hill. Go. Hold on. Combine that with a winch to that tree. And we may have figured out our... Yes! Yes, the loading ramps. Literally, the key was the loading ramps.
Just gotta put the loading ramps back in. So they get back in. Alright, and now... Now we go, hopefully. Yes! That actually worked, and I'm really surprised that the loading ramps worked. I was like, it was just a little idea in my head. I was like, maybe extending the loading ramps could work? And it did. It was like, holy crap. They, I had no idea they would, they would work that well, at least, in that situation. All right, automatic mode. And go. Automatic mode and pick up some momentum. Fifth gear, just trucking now. Absolutely just trucking. Just got to beware of that edge of the road. Because if the trailer goes in there, that... Ooh, or the truck. Which, both are possible because it can get sketchy and spin tires at higher speeds. But yeah, if either side goes in there, you're in a... In a lot of... Lot of trouble. You got issues on your hands. <laughs> Come on, stick with it now. There's a little bit more to go. I'm going to check the map in a second, but I think we only have a little bit further left to go. Going to have to stay to the right. Oh, those are, those are strategically placed. All right, where are we at? Perfect. We're, so we're almost exactly at the area we wanted to go to anyway. So in a minute here, we will literally have accomplished our objective. We will have accomplished our objective of towing these trucks to their destination, and we can call it a win and call it a success. <gasps> oh, that was scary. Oh, I was I was saying like we can call it a win, we can call it a success, and then the trailer started to tip. I was like, uh, 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 no, 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 sir. And that is that. That is that, my friends. We have delivered our, uh, we've delivered the Tundra, we've delivered the 66 Chevy, and uh, I'm willing to consider that a success and a win. A, 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 a good one, actually. But if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.